A fast server response time can positively impact your website ranking on search engine results pages. Um, there are multiple ways to measure the server response time, so let's get through some of them. One of the easy ways to test this metric for a web page is through the dev tools of your browser. So when you're in Chrome, uh, you go right click, go to inspect, then you have to select the network tab, then dock, then you have to refresh your page and then hover over the waterfall right here. And here you will see waiting for server response and this is the server response time. So the server response time should be no more than uh, 200 milliseconds. So in this case, uh, it's about right. Um, but you should aim uh, for, for less than that. Uh, the faster the server response, the better the rankings in search res results, according to uh, a lot of research. And please note that the server response time shown in the dev tools right here may differ uh, from what you, do, you get with other tools or method as um, this can be affected by various factors such as uh, latency, caching and a lot of other things. So uh, uh, the home page is probably cached so when I go to a uh, category you will see that I have another response time like uh, the double of that probably because this time uh, page isn't cached so um, you can also uh, see it in search console so when you go to search console you will go to uh, settings and here you will find your cross statistics and here you will find your average response time and in this case my uh, response time average is 609 and it should be less than 200 so it's too high um, you can reduce this server response time by cleaning up databases, uh, removing unnecessary options, uh, getting page cache or a lot of other things. So if you're using WordPress, there are a lot of uh, plugins you can use for uh, a few of the solutions to reduce server response time. Many of you guys know that I'm using a WordPress website. So um, I use the plugin Waytree Throttle Cache and uh, with this plugin you can do a lot of uh, things to reduce the server response time like page caching. Uh, it's, in a, it's a free to install plugin so I should definitely use it. And another way to uh, reduce the server response time is to reduce third party resources. Uh, I have another video on that on how to check uh, how reliable you are on those third-party sources and if you are very reliable on them uh, you should implement server side tracking um, yeah and that's really it uh, I showed you how to uh, check the server response time with the Chrome Dev and with cross statistics you can also um, find the server response time with a lot of page speed tools but this is a easy this are the these are some easy ways to do it. So if you find this video useful, hit the thumbs up below the video. This way I can check what kind of videos you all like and what should I create in the future. If you want to learn more, subscribe to the channel. And this was Tracking Success for now and I'll see you in the next one.